Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a quick update on my STAC Tricom chest rig that I'm wearing here. As many of you know, I've done a review on this guy in the past. Today I'll just be covering the updates that I've done to it to set up the way I have it right now. And if you're looking to get this chest rig, I hope this video answers your questions because I believe I am the only person on YouTube that's done a review on this guy. So yeah, but before we continue, if you like what you see on my channel and you want to support my channel, you can do so by subscribing. I've noticed a lot of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So if you want to help me out, that would definitely be the way to do it. If you, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, I appreciate it. So pretty much when I initially got this guy, I went over the specifics with you guys and I kind of just shared my opinion on it. Uh, this chest rig is meant to be more of a high speed style chest rig the reason being is because is if you notice the, the way the mag pouches are set up this one comes with the esta kiwi mag pouches these are sewn onto the chest rig so pretty much these pouches here have the plastic insert right in there to keep tension on the mags so rather than having a chest rig that you have to undo a flap to get to the mag this is a much quicker option to run. So I was kind of interested, you know, for that reason. And I decided to pick it up and I ran out the range and it works really good. So let's uh, move on to the things that I've added to this guy. I haven't done too much to this guy compared to my Reiki rig. This one, I've done two editions of pouches. The first one being this radio pouch right here. Again, I am using the same radio pouch that I'm using on my Reiki rig. This one here is made by a company called Elite Spanker. They are an Amazon, you know, uh, distributor. And let me tell you guys, yes, this is made in China, but the quality of this is really good. It's not like those cheap. 15 10 dollar pouches that you buy you know like this is actually like pretty strong uh, nylon and if you see this pouch here on the side has elastic so you could fit different types of radios in here if you want to fit some slim type of radios or some triple c thick type of radios this pouch will hold them just fine i really like it because it's um really well thought out in my opinion it's a really good radio pouch the only downside to this pouch is the molly webbing that it comes with. Uh, I, I think it's kind of flimsy, but you could remove that webbing. Not the webbing, but the, the molly strap, you know, it's removable. And what I've done to make this a more reliable system is I've added some Mellis clips. Not sure if you guys can see them right here. It's definitely a much more secure system. And this pouch ain't going nowhere. It's on the pretty good. So that's the way I have it mounted onto the chest rig. It works really good. You could adjust it, you know, depending on the size of your radio, you could, you know, make it more uh, looser for a bigger radio or tighter for a smaller radio. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes down to the radio pouch. It does come with this little bungee strap here. So, you know, it'll keep the radio in there nice and secure so you don't have to worry about losing it plus the elastic on the side really keeps good tension on it so yeah definitely recommend this company uh these i have a lot of their stuff and let me tell you guys even though it's more of a lower end type of equipment it works really good like i said it's made from really durable material uh the nylon here um honestly it's comparable to something out there that's a name brand you know so yeah definitely uh, check out this pouch i think it's a really nice pouch to have for radios the kind of radio that i'm running is a bell fang uh, uv5 plus this is a gmsr uh gmrs radio so you know if you don't know what that is um look it up pretty much what it is it's a set of frequencies that you could use if you get a license with the FCC. You pay for the license by going onto the website. It's about $35 and the license is good for up to 10 years. 
not only you could use it, but your family could also use it. So, you know, it's uh, really cool. If you don't want to get into ham radios, which is a little bit more difficult, I really find uh, GMRS radios being uh, the way to go. So, yeah, I won't go too much into radios because I am planning on doing a video on communications. So, I'll stick around for that, but it's pretty much what it is. I am running this push to talk um, piece right here. Pretty much it comes, it hooks up to the side of the radio. It comes up, I'm running it behind the rig here because this does not have any kind of uh, cable management on it. I guess I could put some ranger bands and kind of call it a day, but I'm just kind of running it like this. So I do have the earpiece to hook up to this guy. So, you know, if I'm around people and I don't want people to hear what I'm talking about, then you know it's good to have the earpiece but pretty much you just press this guy right here on the side and you know you're able to talk uh in there it's definitely becoming more of a topic now with a lot of people because with current events going on in the world you just never know when you won't be able to pick up your cell phone to call your family call your friends so definitely looking to Getting some decent radios. Bailfang is pretty economic, but if you know how to use them, like I know how to program this radio to a local repeater that can extend the reach of communication that I can get out of this radio. If you learn how to use all those things, trust me, it will go a long way. Just look into communications, please, because God forbid we're at the brink of some major conflict. I don't know. but. Anyways, let's move on. That's pretty much it when it comes down to my radio pouch here. Check them out. Uh, really good quality stuff. Now, another thing that I decided to add to this chest rig is a med pouch. So, by the looks of it, you might think that it's a Spirited Systems uh, spot pouch. However, just like this pouch over here, this guy is actually a Chinese copy as well. But let me tell you guys, this pouch here, I really like it a lot. I ended up getting one for my Reiki rig and I ended up getting one for this guy. The material on this, it's very comparable to the kind of material that STAC uses for their webbing here. It's really strong nylon. Um, it's rip resistant, so I, I think it'll be just fine. It does have pretty good stitching. Um, it is well put together so i use this pouch for um ifac you know medical supplies so pretty much the way it works you have this flap right here you open it up it does come with some bungee in here so you know if you want to use this pouch for other stuff you could you can you could put mags in here you could put a water bottle a flask i don't know snacks when you're at the range but if you want it for a med pouch it's a really good pouch some things that I keep on here are chest seals, some quick clot, some combat gauze, some uh, shears right back here. And it works really good, you know, for the basics. I do have some gloves in here as well. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I am using the bungee that it has here to secure this tourniquet to this. I pretty much just uh, run it through the bungee like so. And when I move it to the side over here and I close the flap, it stays on there pretty good. It doesn't move around a whole lot and it's pretty secure. So that's how I'm running my tourniquet on here. Uh, man, I, you know, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this company because I, I just can't pronounce it. It's on, it's, it's on Amazon. If you just type up a uh, multicam um, general pouch or something like that, it'll come up. And again, this is a copy of the Spirit of Systems uh, Spot Pouch. This is a really good pouch. Highly recommend it. Like I said, you could remove this uh, flap right here if you want to just run the bungee on there. It is removable back here with some, it's uh, hooked up to the pouch with some Velcro backing back here. So if you want to take off the flap and run it, you know, run it without it, you can. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Now, the way this pouch goes on to the chest rig is with some um, molly webbing back here. The top of the pouch, 
has the webbing uh, sewn onto the pouch itself. It's really good webbing. You know, it's really, really, really good material, man. This is really thick. The stitching on it, it's pretty good and it works really good. So I decided to just use this webbing here rather than malice clips like I did with the Raider pouch. So this, uh, it's a pretty good option, pretty good way to mount it on here and it's secure. So yeah, you know, it's a really good pouch. Like I said, you could fit a lot of things in there as far as, you know, medical supplies go, or if you want to use it for something else, you can. So yeah. Well, that's pretty much the updates that I've done to this, uh, chest rig here i haven't really done too much more i was thinking about getting some kind of general purpose pouch right here in the front and so i could put things like you know my gloves my balaclava you know other things in there tools the only downside to this guy is that on the back it does not have velcro backing so if you want to put a dangler in this guy you won't be able to for that reason Unless you're handy, or if you know a place that could sew on some velcro on the back, you know, you'll be able to do it. But other than that, unfortunately, you won't be able to. But this uh, pouches here do come with webbing. So if you want to put some kind of patches on here to put extra stuff, you can. I just, I don't really know if I want to do that, to be honest, because see, when you have, unless it's just like a small pouch that's hooked up to one of these mag pouches here maybe other than that i wouldn't want to use a bigger one because is if you see well you know if you're fat like me it's definitely going to have a uh, curve to it you know because my stomach's uh, poking it out but other than that if you were to put a pouch um it, they wouldn't really be able to move around a whole lot so keeping it this way it's definitely meant to contour to your body shape so i think it's better to keep it that way so I might just call it a day and just run it the way I have it right now. I think this will work out for me really good. And um, yeah, uh, it's a really good chest rig. You know, like I said, this is the S-Tac Chicom chest rig. It's based from this Type 56 chest rig right here. This is pretty much what this guy was designed around. I really love this guy, you know, the simplicity of it. This guy has been around for a long time. I really like it a lot. I'm gonna do a separate video for this guy. So stay tuned for that. But the idea behind this chest rig was to get somewhat of a more modernized chest rig that I could use to run my AK with, you know, as far as like my mags and that kind of stuff. So I know Multicam Black, it's not a really good, um, camo pattern it's not really effective i guess you could say maybe in the darkness it is but as far as in the daytime and stuff it isn't i kind of got it just more for because i like the look of it to be honest and i think it's busting so there you have it you know but uh yeah like i said really good chest rig s tag they've been around for some time now they make really good pouches check them out man i don't get paid by them but I'm just speaking the truth. They get, they do make pretty good quality stuff. So, yeah. So just a quick demonstration of what it would look like doing a reload with this chest rig. Uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate here. I'm not gonna go super fast or anything, so you guys can see the idea behind it. So pretty much, it has the mags pretty accessible to you, so it does make reloading a lot faster. So you know, if you wanna do a reload, you're at the range. Well, first of all, let's make sure this gun's clear. There's no mag in here, but I just gotta treat it like it's loaded. Yep, it's clear, it's good to go. So pretty much you're at the range, you're putting rounds down range, you're shooting, you run out, you reach down, grab your mag, and there you have it. So it is definitely a lot quicker. It's really easy to pull the mags out of here. So yeah, and it does fit a whole lot of different AK mags. So if you're curious, um, on what it fits, watch my other video that I've done on this guy initially. You'll be able to see all the other kind of mags you can run in here. You can actually run uh, AR style mags in here as well. It'll hold them just fine. And you could also run pistol caliber carbine mags in here. So it's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like this uh, update on this chest rig. If you're looking to build something like this, give it a go. You know, I don't think it'll let you down. 
So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.